gigabits and gigabytes are different, right? That's correct. So you divide the data transfer rate value by eight when converting gigabit per second to gigabyte per second. In binary, a bit is either a zero or one. Eight binary bits, so something like this as an example, equals one byte. So 100 gigabits per second equals 12.5 gigabytes per second. If we have a 25 gigabits per second network card similar to this one, we are getting 3.125 gigabytes per second. So each interface on this network card is 25 gigabits per second. This QSFP supports 100 gigabits per second. So again, 100 gigabits per second is 12.5 gigabytes per second. If we have 40 gigabits per second, it's five gigabytes per second. These days we can have 400 gigabits per second interfaces or 800 gigabits per second interfaces. Cisco have released QSFPs like this that support 400 gigabits per second up to 3000 kilometers. So fiber optic cables can go really long distances. This is a multi-mode fiber cable, can't go that kind of distance, but single mode fiber optic cables can go really far. If you haven't seen something like this before, this is a map of the world showing the submarine cables. The internet is made up of cables like this, connecting the world together. So cables that are at the bottom of the ocean connect us together to form the internet. That's how it's possible that you can watch this video.